Good morning, good morning, good morning everyone and welcome to Morning Inspirations with Pastor Tim. This is the day that the Lord has made and I will rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you Jesus. This morning's inspiration is found in the book of Isaiah chapter 61 verses 1 to 3. The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me because the Lord has anointed me to preach the good tidings to the poor. He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives, and the opening of the prison to those who are bound, to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord and the day of vengeance of our God, to comfort all who mourn, to console those who mourn in Zion, to give them beauty for ashes, the oil of joy for mourning, the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness, that they may be called trees of righteousness, the planting of the Lord, that he may be glorified. God is sovereign, therefore he knows the odds are against you in this life. You will have trouble. God has a divine plan for your life, and he has promised to bring it to pass. It shall come to pass on that day that his burden shall be taken away from off your shoulder and his yoke from off your neck and the yoke shall be destroyed because of the anointing. Not by might nor by power, but by my spirit, says the Lord of hosts. It is only the anointing that destroys the yoke, the yoke of faithful, faithlessness, doubt and disbelief. The yoke of bondage and slavery to sin, unrighteousness and disobedience. The yoke of poverty, debt and despair. The yoke of destruction, failure, misery and hopelessness. And anything that is not of God. Every demonic stronghold is destroyed and every chain is broken. For where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. Let me encourage you. Through Jesus Christ and his anointing, God has promised you shall be called priests of the Lord, ministers of God. You shall be fed with treasures of the nations and shall glory in their riches. Instead of shame and dishonor, you shall have double portion of prosperity and everlasting joy. Your descendants will be known and honored among the nations and all shall realize that you are the people God has blessed. Thank you for joining me today, and I look forward to seeing you again on tomorrow. Have a blessed day.